the E60 5 Series was my dream car, but it had to have uh, some specific options in order for me to buy it. So first of all, I wanted to get one with the um, black exterior. So this is the carbon black with the black Dakota leather. And it needed to have the M Sport package, which really makes this car look a lot different than the normal E60 5 Series. And so let's just take a walk around and I'll show you what the M's packa M package has to offer. So what you get with the M Sport package is you get an upgraded front bumper right here, which looks a lot more aggressive, has, has a wider grill at the bottom here for more air intake. You get the um, upgraded 18 inch M Sport rims right here which actually are the perfect size rim for this car. Uh, you don't want to go with a 19s or 20s because you're going to compromise with the ride quality. It's going to be, you're going to feel every bump in the road. But 18s I find is perfect for this car. So it also comes equipped with run flat tires, which are really good. They lasted a long time and you get at least around 50,000 miles with these. They're the Bridge Bridgestone Potenza. These are all season sport performance tires. And so there we go. We got Bridgestone and right there Potenza. And I've just recently upgraded the rear tires to the Bridgestone drive guards right here. And um, the ride quality and the miles per gallon actually improved quite a bit after the new tires. But Anyway, so back to the M Sport package. So what you get is the upgraded bumper. It comes with the uh, curved side skirt, side panels. And this car just looks gorgeous. We're in a beautiful Sunset Beach, English Bay, by the way. It's a great day to shoot a video. And yeah, this car just looks stunning from all angles. And also the rear bumper is a lot more... It looks a lot nicer than what you get with the stock standard E60. And in addition to the rear bumper, it also comes with an upgraded exhaust right here. You get the chrome tip exhaust. And on top of that, you get the M Sport steering wheel, which is the nicest nicest steering wheel I've ever seen in any BMW period hands down it's gorgeous it's really thick leather wrapped steering wheel and you also get these 20 way 20 way adjustable seats comfort sport seats these seats are awesome they're so comfortable they're just perfect and I'll show you the options you have right here so first of all they have thigh support right here they have memory settings so right here we have the thigh support and then they also um, the side bolsters right here you can adjust them So you can make them go in and out like this. Just by pushing this button down here. See? And you can also set it so that it hugs you actually. If you're going over bumpy roads, it'll keep you locked in. So these side, side bolsters, you know, tighten in. And then also up here, these things come out like this for extra comfort and uh, yeah so that's part of the premium package and right here we have M Sport on the on the side panels right here and yeah so if you're looking for an E65 series I recommend uh, avoiding the 2004 to 2007 models they're the pre LCI versions those models um, they don't have all the extra enhancements that came later in 2008. Like for example, the door panels are much nicer 
on the 2008, 2009, and 2010 models like this one here. It has much nicer door panels. They kind of flow through the rest of the interior a lot nicer. The controls are much better. They're better placed right here compared to the pre-LCI. And also what you get with the LCI version, which this one is, is upgraded LED taillights right here which look amazing only this car for these three model years 08 09 and 2010 have these insanely amazing beautiful rear tail lights no BMW has tail lights like this one and also the front headlights are just like it's got a killer freaking look I can't emphasize how exceptionally amazing this particular car is and on top of this what you get with the LCI is in particular the 5 series is the LCI E60 comes for the first time with a turbocharged 3 liter 3 liter engine right here the N54 engine it debuted in 2007 on the 335 and it made its way to the 535 in 2008 and this is an unbelievable engine it is won engine of the year award multiple years it was available in other BMW models as well, the 135, the 335, even the BMW Z4 up until 2016. And the reason why this engine is amazing is it gives a lot more power compared to the previous uh, engine in the 2007 5 Series, the N52. It gives 300 horsepower, inline 6, turbocharged with 300 feet pounds of torque. And uh, it's, you get the same if not better fuel economy than the 07 5 series which had less power so let's go over here and let's go we'll do a quick overview of the engine so as you can see right here we have the uh, air box right there where you can replace the engine and air filter we have the cabin air filters right there they're easy to replace i'll uh, show you in another video how you can replace your cabin air filter here we have the oil cooler and oil filter housing which is necessary for these turbocharged engines you'll feel you'll see this exact same or very similar setup in even new bmws today even in the bmw m4 which is a hundred thousand dollar car has the same oil filter housing and cooler line setup right here and the reason why this engine is really good also is that you can tune it you can really twerk tweak the power on this car and you can get it to have well over 500 600 even 700 horsepower if you do some modifications and you use an, an app on your phone where you can um, you can increase the power so I can talk about that in another video but basically it's much better to have this than the M5 which gives you 500 horsepower from factory but the M5 uses a lot more gas and costs a lot more to repair and maintain whereas this if you want to keep it stock you get tons of power much better fuel economy lower maintenance cost but if you want to you can tune it and you can get it to become even faster than the m5 which makes the 535 m sport the best bmw sedan you can get for the money today but like i said if you're on the market to look for one make sure you get i would get a 2010 one which are hard to find and even the 2010 ones if you can find one make sure you get it with the m sport package which is even harder to find and on top of that the reason why i got this is like i said earlier it's got the m sport package it's got the lci upgrade but also it's got a bunch of other stuff that really take this to to the next to the to the to the next to the next level and i'll go over that so another great amazing thing is for example keyless entry so you know right i'll give you uh, i'll give you a demonstration of the keyless entry the keyless entry is an awesome feature so you can just have your key in your pocket you can walk up to your car you can unlock it like that and if you hold your hand a little bit longer on the door right here we'll just hold it a little bit longer we'll wait for it to lock and it, it, it even it even puts up all the windows and it lowers the sunroof so that's that's a feature I actually discovered by accident but uh, one other cool feature that I think think this car is worth uh, worth noting about is in terms of safety right here so 
if you have the key right here and you accidentally see this is the key fob if you accidentally put the key in your trunk right here see the keys in the trunk and you try closing the trunk it'll automatically open the trunk and prevent you from locking yourself out so that's a very nice touch I discovered that by accident so another thing I want to talk about before we get into the interior of the car and is the uh, sound system so this car actually another option that I would look for from factory if you're getting a new BMW is make sure it has the upgraded Logic 7 Harman Kardon sound system now a lot of people say that sound system is awesome and is really really good but what I say is it's mediocre the amp is okay but the speakers themselves actually aren't the greatest and this came with the Logic 7 Harman Kardon I'll show you exactly what speakers it has so let's go over here and these are the mid ranges as as you can see this is what they put by the way in brand new 2020 BMWs and they make you pay extra for the Harman Kardon right here Harman Kardon Logic 7 and look at the speaker quality it looks like a ping pong ball this is what happens to it it's not it's loud but it's not as clear it sounds distorted at high volumes it doesn't soothe your ear and this is the tweeter by the way so I walked into a dealership BMW dealership and I looked at a 2023 40i and even a 540i and these use the same little logic 7 tweeters for their sound you can see them right through the grill and they'll they'll say that oh wow this sound system is amazing it's Harman Kardon but I disagree after using after upgrading the sound system which I have by the way I'll put a link in the description I'll talk about this in another video but if you have a BMW any BMW it doesn't matter what model it is I would recommend checking out Bav sound if you're into audio quality you want your, your car to have the best sound system possible go to Bav sound they'll uh, they'll hook you up with some unbelievable speakers that will transform your car's audio to the next level I could not listen to those Harman Kardon speakers ever again after the upgrade so let's go into the interior and continue with the review all right So we're back in the car right now, and uh, we are continuing the BMW E60 review. So what I'm going to show you next right here is a feature that I'm sure most E60s that you've seen does not have. This is an extremely rare feature, and that is Bluetooth audio. So let's go over here and let's take a look at that. So in addition to the CICI drive upgrade, I've also added the Combox, which came out in 2011 and uh, 2012 which adds enhanced USB and uh, enhanced uh, Bluetooth which gives you Bluetooth audio so if I go here CD multimedia as you can see my iPhone music's coming out of my iPhone and and there's nothing connected to it it's wireless and if I if I change the song right here on the iPhone if I click next track it'll change right there if I click next track again it'll change right there so Bluetooth audio is an amazing feature it's extremely fast it also works with Spotify on your phone so um, right here another thing that I got on top of that once you get the com box in your car you can open the door and also retrofit BMW apps which is a software retrofit you just need to connect an OBD2 port cable down to the port down there and uh, and then you can uh, you can update the software and code BMW apps and a BMW apps is actually a really good feature to have and I'll show you why and I'm guaranteed you're not gonna find an E60 with Bluetooth audio or BMW apps if you have one I'd like to know about it comment down below show me your E60 I'd like to see so right here let's see right here so we have Bluetooth audio and then on top of this what you got with the CICI drive is you also got it comes with a hard drive which is amazing because right here it has a USB port in the glove box 
and you can update the, the navigation maps and you can also upload music files right here on a USB and then right here let's say I, I just put a USB in with some new music so if I want to add it to, to the existing hard drive it's got 80 gigabytes of memory by the way so let's take a look right here we go music data import export so we click import new music So we got the new music right here and it's very easy to navigate through your menus right here so you can see all, all, all your songs another cool thing with, that you get with the com box with the enhanced USB is if you want to connect your iPhone physically right here with the USB cable you just connect it it'll charge your phone and another option you want to look for if you're getting an E60, by the way, is make sure it has USB audio from factory right here in addition to auxiliary. And But in 2010, you could not play music from your iPhone, even if you had this newer iDrive, unless you got the Calm Box, which came later on. By the way, you can't get all this stuff from BMW since it did not come with the car from factory. But although it looks like these were factory options. So let's go take a look. So once you connect your phone right here, you can connect it to... To, uh, to play USB and right here we go to external devices and we can see something that you do not see standard even if you get the CICI drive from um, from BMW and that feature is she just started to pop it for a nigga and look back and told me, baby, it's real. And that feature is album art. So right here, if you take your iPhone, you connect it to iTunes, you can add any picture you want to your songs. So now you can get pictures on your iDrive screen right here. And uh, the album art actually is a very nice touch. If you really want to, if you're a... Um, audio file you really want to make your uh, audio collection look nicer album art is the way to go so on top of this what you get with the um, BMW apps is a feature that came out in 2014 so this is something that came out in 2014 and it's available on this BMW which is um, which is a lot older than that so let's let's go take a look and that feature is so if you just go on your iPhone you click Spotify. So right here, Spotify. And this is an extremely useful feature to have. So all you gotta do is just click on it and you have access to all your Spotify playlists. And the album art actually surprisingly loads a lot faster with Spotify than it does with just your iPhone's music. So if you just go next, you can see you can go turn shuffle on so you can really shuffle through your music I tell the fuck that nigga and the sound system is unreal So the CICI drive combined with the Combox, combined with the Bav Sound Stage 1 and Ghost Woofers, I'll put a link in the description, makes this car audio experience unreal. Like nothing really compares to it. And the great thing about Spotify in your car is you can just go right here, you can go to Spotify menu. And you can see your library right here. You can see playlists. You can scroll through your playlists really quickly here. And then also you can discover new music through the data on your phone right here. You can go to browse. And you can just browse by genre right here. So let's say you want hip hop. You 
can connect to the different stations right here. This one's got the most followers. Get turned. And you can see what is new, what is hot right now. So, and then if you like these songs, you can go save song. And it will add it to your playlist. Or you can search for new music. So you can search. You have the whole world of music at your fingertips here. Just using the, uh, the click wheel right here on the iDrive controller. And you can search for any artist, any song you want and add it to your library on the go. So this is like the best way to enjoy music in the car. And so let's go back right here. All right, so I've covered the music. And the other thing that's really cool about this that makes it stand out is the uh, navigation. So right here, when I got the CICI Drive Retrofit from Beamer Tech, they shipped it with 2019 maps. And as you can see, you get a nice aerial view of where we are it's very accurate you can see over there there's the water there's the island in front of us at sunset beach and there it is right there you can go right here you can see navigation map version and let's see right here 2019 and like i mentioned you can upgrade it with the usb port and the glove box and what's really great is it has this feature called interactive map right here where you can kind of it's like a video game you can kind of fly through the city. We're in downtown Vancouver. And you can like zoom in, zoom out. So it's relatively fast right here. And now, what I really like about this navigation actually, that it's even better if you have BMW apps on your phone. So let's go over here and I'm, sure you, I'm gonna show you something else really cool. is once you have BMW apps, you just have to download this connected drive app on your phone right here. So if you click on it right here, you can actually, it'll show you the car and the exact same color combo with the M Sport package. It'll show you how much fuel you have left in the tank. It'll show you the tank range. And what's crazy is connected drive and BMW apps never existed when this car came out, yet here it is on your iPhone screen in the app. Even though BMW will never let you retrofit this. Like, I find that pretty, pretty crazy attention to detail. That they still went ahead and they left the door open for the E60 in this app. So, in addition to the BMW app, it actually makes using navigation a lot easier. Because you can use your phone's touchscreen to control the navigation destination. So, right here, let's go to destinations. And let's say I want to go to 41st and Knight Street in Vancouver. So I just go right here, I click on it, 